Uh, well, let's move on to another story. This is LIC we are talking about. Uh, and we understand that LIC has got five priorities it is set on in an agreement uh, with uh, Deepam, uh, with the government of India, essentially. Five areas of improvement that LIC is working on. Uh, Yash is joining in with details. Yash, uh, over to you. Well, in the last one year, Prashant, uh, we've seen a 50% increase as far as uh, LIC stock price is concerned. That's been acknowledged by institutional investors as well as retail investors. And uh, that has been a result of many regulatory changes which have become supportive. At the same time, changes as far as the business at LIC is concerned. Now, what you've been given to understand is that LIC, along with Government of India, uh, DPAM, which is the Department of Investment and Public Asset Management, has formed a five-point strategy when it comes to the kind of improvements in these five areas which the government wants to see from LICs and LIC is expected to submit a regular report with the government in terms of development progress in these five areas. I'll quickly take you uh, through these five points which have been spelt out by the government for LIC. First one is its platform Dive which is digital innovation and value enhancement. What is this platform expected to do? It's, ex it's expected to completely digitize uh, process it at, at LIC straight from onboarding of policy holders uh, to servicing of policies to claims management. It is also expected to increase digital sales which are close to negligible points uh, at LIC right now uh, in FI24 digital uh, mix for uh, you know for LIC just stood at about 0.15% less than 1% of the new business premium for LIC came through digital channels so that is expected to get some push because of this new platform the second one is divestment of real estate and non-core assets LIC is the third largest real estate owner in the country its properties are expected to be between 50 to 60 thousand crore rupees that is expected to see some uh, divestment from the company's end and raising of funds also some non-core assets are expected to be divested. The third one is agency transformation project. LIC recently appointed AT Carne uh, for undertaking a digital transformation uh, uh, pro project. Uh, essentially, this will include training its large agency force to adopt the digital technology which it uh, takes through the dive platform. Also, this will increase uh, you know, the per agent productivity for LIC, so that will be important. The fourth one is on focus on product mix. LIC's focus has been to increase the non-par sales uh, uh, for itself, uh, that's at 18% of the total uh, annualized premium equivalent as of fourth quarter. The management has said that by for FI25, that number is expected to increase more than 20%. So that is one area of focus for LIC, which will also increase margins for the company. And the fifth and the final one is growth in the market share for LIC. Uh, LIC has gained 260 basis points of market share in the total business. But so far, that has largely been driven by the group business which it undertakes. Now the focus will be on growing its market share in the individual business as well. These are the five points. The progress report expected to be submitted by LIC with the government on a regular basis.